with these zombies. I don't know, something about the night time just makes it a little bit more, a bit more frightening. I think it's the fog. The fog scares me, not knowing what's coming. That, um, yeah, that freaks me out a bit. And also this guy, the digger. Oh, what a pain. But that's what I'm saying. Like um, as I was saying in the in the last in the last video, like that's what Plants vs Zombies the first one does. It by throwing all these zombies at you. You know the variety uh, and the setting of the maps. You know it makes you makes you think as it should do. Um, uh, yeah, I seriously struggle with the lack of sun at night time. I'm gonna go with a, a walnut instead of a tornut. I don't think I need it. Well, it's always better to go with a tornut, but the lack of sun is a big ass problem. Uh, I'm gonna bring along star fruit just to show you what it does. And uh, okay, I'm gonna have to switch this up. Cherry bomb because last time it got a little bit too close. My like oh wait mmm planting okay all right let's uh let's see if me spending less money on nuts can improve my game Oh, come on. <laughs> it's because of the snow pee. It, um, it was slowing them down. Well, I assume they'd already passed that point. That was a waste of 50 sun. Okay. So, yeah, my um, by spending a little bit less on tour nuts, I think it's helping my sun situation a bit. But, I don't know. I'm gonna attacking plants. And when those diggers start coming in, I'm gonna really struggle. I'm gonna show you what the star fruit does. So as you can see the star fruit has five points and it fires along each of those points. So mm, it, on, on paper it might seem decent, but in practicality those those five, I mean look, it's not actually attacking any zombies at the moment. It has to be perfectly lined up for it to take shots. So it's great if zombies were all attacking along those points, but I mean, in that situation there, it's not really doing a great deal for me.
a little bit conscientious about the uh, the digger zombies. Haven't turned up yet, but when they do, they're gonna. Well, they're basically they're gonna start taking my snow peas, so that's gonna be a problem. Which is why I'm trying to get these star fruits down, because as you can see, one of the points is towards the uh, towards the house. So, I mean. I'll be able to put some damage down, but I don't know if I'll be able to take out uh, the diggers before they take out the snow pea. And once I lose the snow pea, then well, that's problematic. Oof. Yeah, that guy scares me. Okay position, but like I said, those diggers, those diggers are going to be a problem. And of course, the ones that pop out of the water. Man. Only one digger. But, as I said, you know, it managed to take out the snow pea, as I predicted. Didn't get any further than that, but... If more than one digger had come down that particular lane, then obviously I'd be in a bit of trouble. So, yeah, you want to try and counter him before he gets that far down. And it is possible to do so. Just not with the current plants that I've got. And we have a new plant. Pumpkin protects plants that are within its shell. This is one of the best plants in Plants vs Zombies, and it is a crying shame that they have yet to bring it to Plants vs Zombies 2, and I don't know why that is, to be honest. Oh, new zombie. So, Pogo Zombie, as you can see, he's bouncing on a Pogo. Uh, let's see. Uh... Actually, I think what I had last time worked quite well. No diggers this time, so I don't need to bring the split pea. Uh, in fact, pretty standard zombies. The only one that might be problematic is the pogo guy. But no bucket heads either, so that's good. Fume uh, shroom. I might bring along the star fruit again, just because I don't think you guys really had like a good look at what it does. And then again, go on then. I'll bring it along just to show you. So I don't know if you can see, but, well you probably should be able to, but the, the fog has moved further towards the house. We've lost like a, I'd say at least another, maybe, uh, two lanes? Nah, I mean two columns? One and a bit, one and a bit. So now it's it's getting like to the point where you need to put down plantains or, or torches, but you need, you know, you need a light source. You can't play with just seeing four columns that is uh it's not very practical
that's the Pogo Zombo. As you can see, he's on a Pogo and he jumps clean over and I am so screwed because I have nothing to take him out. Damn it! And there goes my second lawnmower. Alright, so he's a pretty fast zombie. Um, not particularly strong, but if you don't slow him down or we'll take him out early on, then once he gets past like your first initial uh, column of attacking plants, then he's got a free run at the house. And so I should have. Well, I didn't have enough money. To, I didn't have enough sun to put down a snow pea, which would have take, which would have slowed him down enough for these guys to take him out. So that's a bit of a shame, but. It's all about sun in Plants vs Zombies. If you don't have any sun, you're in trouble. Um, so, you know, obviously you want as much as possible. Oh, come on. Ha! Oh no! Just missed it. So, I don't, well, I'll show you in a second. There you are. So that's what the, the pumpkin does. It It's so good because it saves you space in that you can plant it on top of another plant and it acts like a it acts like a walnut really but um, maybe has slightly less health than a walnut but the fact that it can go on top of another plant and protect the plant on the inside it just it's just so good but I mean you know it's not perfect obviously there are it's it's got a, it's quite a slow recharge time not sure how it compares to the uh, walnuts, and it costs 125, so it probably got the same sort of health as a walnut, small walnut, but it costs more. Recharge time is probably about the same. But like I said, it's all about the fact that it saves you space. That's what that's what's really good about it. And if you can imagine putting that on top of a plant and then a walnut in front of that pumpkin, that's a lot of defense you've got on the field. And that's assuming you've got attacking plants to take out the zombies, of course, because there's no point having defense when you haven't got any offense. I really want to see what's going on. I think these are the last zombies, but I can't see. Oh no, it's that guy. So yeah, you could, I mean, like, look, you could do that, for example. Pumpkin on top of walnut. I mean, come on. You slow down the zombies using a snow pea, and well, they'll be there forever. Well, not forever, but a decent chunk of time anyway. But all that costs money, though, that's a problem. I didn't even show you what the. St I didn't even. I brought the star fruit to show you a bit more of how it attacks, and. well. So, yeah. If it's not on the point, any of the points, then. Can't make contact. So I believe it's down, down, up, and then these two are like sort of diagonal, sort of. The magnet room removes helmets and other metal objects from zombies. 